what is it about the mundane that is attractive yeah. to you? Yeah. What are you trying to pull out there? What are you yeah. trying to show? That's great, man. What are you trying to to tell? I think I have a, I, there's like multiple points of reference that I have with mundane. So like at one level, um, there is just a sense in which everyone intuitively knows that most things are not like phenomenal and sensational in how they kind of present. You know, you wake up in the morning and you're surrounded by like thousands of like ordinary moments. When, you know, just at a normal human level, you look back in your life and, you know, if you're on your deathbed, you're not thinking of just like all the, you know, high moments. Mm -hmm. You're really thinking about just like the time that you spent with people you love, like the, the, the small moments, the little things like, you know, you're not like, if you're on your deathbed, you're not saying, man, I want to go to Disney once more. <laughs> you know? That's true. Like you're not thinking that you're like, man, if I can just have a little bit more time. We said I would have worked hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, you know, like we don't say that we say, we, we like tend to point out these like mundane, ordinary little moments. Cause you realize they're just like the carriers of so much of like the joy of life. So like at that level, just that, I resonate with that. At a nut, at a one step deeper than that, at a personal level, you know, I, I see myself and then I look around at people around me and the most amazing things about people around me are the ways that they can inject like, uh, like big life into small moments. So think of like, you know, hanging out, grabbing, grabbing a bite with a friend. And I mean, like eating is normal. But like eating with that friend and like, the, you know, just the, the joy and the, the interaction, like that moment has a lot of bandwidth for like creating memories. It has bandwidth for, for like, you know, deep bonds. But it's like a very ordinary activity. Mm-hmm. Right. And so, you know, we know that at a personal level. And, you know, a, a, as a as a Christian, I think of the reality of. Jesus and I believe like when I look at what I believe as a as a Christian and I look soft cue to soft music you know there we go hit that soft music (laughs) I know you can play the keys I'm so so, yeah we should have brought that keyboard baby I got Got that chord like I think of Jesus and I think of like I'm he is the person that I am most impressed with like most amazed by and like his life was, you know, something that a lot of people could have slept on. Like, you know, he wasn't looking for the biggest platform. He took the hardest route, you know, like, you know, even people that were following him, like didn't quite get the moves that he was making. Like it didn't seem to like add up like this. is These are not the things you do if you like want to be like great. You know, the first shall be last, the last shall be first. And then, like, he gravitated towards, like, people who were, like, overlooked in society. And that's why I resonate a lot with that. You know, like, man, like, uh, the greatest one on earth finding, like, people that seem to be, like, outcasts. Mm -hmm. And, like, that theme, I resonate with that theme. Or, like, you know, as, like, the Bible teaches, like, Jesus winning through death. Like, saving through giving himself up. Like, those categories are mind-boggling. And then, like, you look at the history of Christianity in the world, and, like, you just see a lot of people that are on the receiving end. Like, they're not the ones that are in power. They're not. They're just, like, the ordinary, the regular. You know, and and that just seems to be a theme that at every level, for me as a believer to just, like, experiencing the world around me, there is just so much about ordinary things. That are, that are actually like full of life mm-hmm. and momentum and just grandeur. And so like those, I, I tend to, and I see myself as someone who's just a regular dude who has, um, you know, something given to me that's great. And like, you know, there's like all these amazing things in unassuming packages. And I think with my art, like when I talk about like the art of the mundane or when I, you know, take pictures of random things, I'm thinking about, I'm almost like 
cluing people into like the fact that this is like beautiful. Like the world is made like every now and again, you might get like the thing that it's amazing because it looks amazing and it's awesome. But nine times out of 10, man, you're going to bump into like 10,000, like quote unquote, ordinary people, ordinary moments, ordinary things that are actually kind of like secret passages into something that's like really amazing. Mm -hmm. So what if, what if like through a picture of a cup, you know, that's, you know, sits on the table. Everybody has a, a cup. Everybody drinks water or something. You know, what if you could start looking at that cup as like, man, that's like more impressive than than I really thought. It's simple, but it's amazing. And what if you started thinking through life like that? You know, what if I looked at my neighbor and said, you know, man, this is not just a, a guy down the street. But man, like, dude, you're awesome. You're amazing. Mm -hmm. Like, there's so much more in you than maybe other people might notice like you're a lot more like wonderful than maybe on the surface I would be tempted uh, to think. And like, what if we just slowed down? What if we did that as just a way of life? We just slowed down and paid attention to what's actually around us. Yeah. You know, and your pictures, my theory is, is, is that, you know, the, the mundane combined with your skill set of making it, that's that's the recipe right there. Yeah, mm -hmm. That's the recipe. Mm -hmm. That's the theory I think behind his growth. Mm. Like you said, a cup. Well, it's not just a cup. Like mm -hmm. I've been with this guy when he takes the pictures of a cup. <laughs> <laughs> it might take him five minutes to take a picture of a oh, cup, really? <laughs> okay. or it could be just a snap and go. Mm -hmm. But he's looking for the angle. You know, like the object, the subject of focus. It is what it is. It's mundane. It's cool, but shine a light on it a certain way, mm. center it in the frame, mm. blast everything that's in the, in the, in the frame into oblivion and, and blurry, you know? And, uh, yeah, man, the, the beauty of the mundane. Yeah. That's, uh -huh. that's where it's at. Yeah. It's I so relatable. relatable. Yeah. Yeah, it is. To, to everyone. I feel mm -hmm. so. Yeah. That's dope. And is this something that you guys had maybe subconsciously been, incorporating in your photography also and then something kind of resonated when you noticed what what tony was doing absolutely or, really absolutely okay yep yeah well, i guess i should elaborate. you should elaborate yeah well i just think to yeah to, when you first said this to me this resonated with me immediately because it it's like it does come back to noticing these little things yeah and the example I always think of with this is my grandfather, my dad's dad. Mm. And this is like a human example of what you're talking about. Not fancy, not flashy, not wealthy. Mm -hmm. Took care of grandma, took care of his kids, yeah. did well. Um, you know, you know, there was a little bit, I think there was a little bit of money for his kids, you know, when he died at like 93 or 96. I mean, there the dude was really old. Ooh. Um Age. And maybe even like a you know a few hundred bucks for the grandkids or something like that. It mm -hmm. wasn't not wealthy, but I think he I will like he is going to be remembered. Yeah, long, yeah, much longer than other people mm -hmm. who had you know all the money in the world, so to yeah. speak, and just approached life differently. Like he yeah. was so That's faithful it. and That's diligent it, and wise yeah. and godly yeah. and. Like, it was like he somehow had a bead on what, like, life was really about, mm -hmm. and he just stuck to that. Yeah, man. And he didn't try to, like, yes. go outside that circle, really. He yeah. was very content, yeah. and he just stuck with it. And yeah, there's man. something about that. Mm -hmm. You would go to their house, and it was, like, peaceful. It, like, seemed like it was in rhythm, yeah. right? It was like it was a place you wanted to be. Mm. No electronics, really. Like, you weren't yeah. there for, like, the... the um amusement or the entertainment or whatever you were there because it was like it felt like whatever vibes were happening here were it was resonating it was right that's right yeah it was very basic it was very mundane yeah man but it's like it's gonna we i just feel like it's, with that. It, yeah yeah absolutely. We, we connect with that at a real human level and i think you know i think that's what people are picking up on because i don't think i don't think there's many people walking around just saying like man i am you know, the most awesome thing ever. Everything that I do is like the most awesome. I think most people when they're honest with themselves are like, man, you know, I'm just one fish in the ocean. Mm -hmm. 
You know, like most people are walking around, they feel like I'm overlooked. I'm, you know, and whether, you know, that's the ego, I'm sure all of us have ego, right? Like, but just at a human level, just thinking of this in a positive way. Like, I think most people feel like, man, we're in a big world where, you know, I'm probably going to get overlooked. You know, you, you work on your, you know, whatever you do, your job, you know, there's a, there's a hundred things you're doing that really never get noticed. You know, there's, you know, your relationships, your friendships, yeah, life is just full of all those things. And I think the idea of like celebrating like the beauty of the mundane, like is, is in a way it's like, it, it is a glimmer of, of hope that says, you know, if I'm that fork <laughs> on the table, if I'm that screw, you know, hanging out the wall, <laughs> if I'm mm-hmm. that chain dangling, maybe that's like, that's, that's me in some mm. way, you know, like really there, good. there is an angle and a perspective on this in which like there's actual beauty in that. Yes. Just last weekend I was, um, I, I'm on the carnivore debt right now and I had ordered some meat online and it came and it was like a variety of different things. Nice. And I do, I do not know why I enjoy this so much, but it was like, grass fed pasture raised i was making uh like my own meal for like two to three hours probably Mm. two hours easy two and a half hours Mm. having the best time listening to music just like i can't cook anything you know (laughs) except for for me and something about it's very weird but something about good meat i don't care if it's steak or ground beef whatever it is like Mm -hmm. preparing it eating it i mean i'm just like i love it so (laughs) much i don't know why i like it so much it's very strange but i like it a lot but um Mm. what what i was thinking about later it occurred to me is i wonder if part of the reason that i enjoy it so much is because i feel very directly connected to the ecosystem Mm -hmm. of life i feel very connected to like the cycles of life Mm -hmm. on this planet yeah and then i was thinking man i think that's at the end of the day, that's one of like the the most profound feelings you can experience mm-hmm. to feel like you are actually part of yeah. what's going on for mm-hmm. you know hundred years or whatever to, whatever time you have here. Yeah, like you 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 give and take. You know, like yeah. s- s- some living creature had to die for me to eat that meat. Yeah, and so I took in that instance, but then I give in other way, and it's mm-hmm. like to participate in the cycle of life when you really think about it. It's a very sacred yeah. experience. No doubt. Like, that's, like there's a lot going yeah. on here, like in the universe and in the grand scheme of things, and we get to participate in it. Yeah. I mean, even just breathing, like mm-hmm. we're so dependent on what's yeah. around us. Like mm-hmm. we have two minutes if we stop breathing or three yeah. and it's all over, mm-hmm. you know? Uh, yeah. Like we're all participating in this yeah. life together and, great, and most of us don't even notice it. Yeah. It just goes over our head. Oh, that's right. We just wake up and go about things and. <sighs> It just all gets missed. Yeah.